Good morning everybody, it's Jennifer with creativecricketdesigns.blogspot.com and today we're going to be using the Silhouette Studio program to create a circle easel card. So what you want to do is grab this oval or the ellipse, grab, hold down your shift key, make a circle. We're going to change the size to four and a quarter, lock aspect ratio and hit apply. We're going to go over to the Replicate screen, Duplicate below, and then I'm going to Duplicate right. Okay, the one on the right I'm going to move off to the side. I'm going to select the bottom one and I'm going to arrow up so that they overlap a little bit. Then I'm going to hold down the Shift key, grab that top one, right click, group, right click, weld. So it's going to still be attached when you cut it. Okay, I'm going to move this one off to the side. And to make it easier for me to make my lines, my perforated lines, I'm actually going to rotate my card base to the right. And then I'm going to line it up so that the center is on one of the grid lines on my mat. If you don't have grid lines on your mat, go the grid, which is way over here, and my spacing, I just set it at one inch. You can change the colors that you want your lines to be, but I just leave them at green. I'm fine with that. Okay, so you have your spacing at an inch, whatever. And now I'm going to go to this line, draw a line tool. And as you can see, there's like a cross here. And I'm going to make sure that that lines up with this line that's right here so that it's straight and then let go then you're gonna click on it go to your cut line at the top and hit perforate edge now if you want you can bring this down so that it's not cutting way off of your mat okay and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create another perforated line so that we can fold one of these pieces in half. Okay. So I'm going to probably go with right here. So I'm going to grab my line tool again. Line it up on that line. Drag it down. Click on it. Perforate. Go ahead and shrink it down. Now I'm going to grab my whole entire image, right click, group. Go to my rotate, rotate it back a little bit bigger, then um, it won't matter. So I'm going to try that and then we'll see how it turns out. So I'm going to move it up a quarter of an inch and make it 4.50 and apply and then that should be big enough to cover it. So we'll see how it goes. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna create layers. I'm a person that I, like everything I find, I always create a layer for it. If I find, you know, like a, something that I like, like for example, that lemon, lemonade card right here that I made the other day and posted it. See how there is this white layer right here? You know, you have your two ginghams, but there's this white one. I actually created that in the file because, to me, there was too much room between this layer and my actual card base, so I made that. And I could have made one for down here, too, but... And then your message would just go inside. But I'm always creating that extra layer. I don't know why. But I guess it's just a habit. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click again. We're going to offset it undo and then I hit the internal offset bring it into point one zero oops one point it's <laughs> I had two dots in there so it kind of messed it up okay so we definitely want that and then we're gonna do another internal offset from that at point one zero oops Zero. So now I'll have three layers. 
Okay, so I've got all my pieces cut out and ready to go, but what I forgot to mention to you guys is that you're going to want to duplicate the layers for the top part of your card for the bottom so that they kind of they match or whatever you want. You know, you don't want to have this plain and then have all your designs on here. So what I actually did for that is I made it the same size as our original, which was four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and then um, did my inset um, quarter of an inch on all three layers. So I have the red, the yellow, and then I added some paper, some pattern paper to that. And then this one was at four and a half inches, I believe, so that it, you know, you don't see any of this off to the side of it. So what we're going to do is this is how it cut out on my mat. And I did use cord, uh, Coordination's cardstock, so it is um, textured. So what I did is I made sure my texture piece was facing up. What I, did, I went ahead and scored my pieces. So when it's laying down, this is the line we created and this is the line we created. So this will go up in half like that. And then it will actually just sit there. You don't even have to worry about it falling over anything, okay? So then what I did is I put this piece together. So you're just going to go ahead and get all your circles glued together, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. I'll be right back. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to adhere our first piece, which is this one. I got all my layers put on here. So we're going to attach this to the base of our circle easel card. Okay, and then what you're going to do for the top base is you're just going to put glue on this half circle because it's you know it's going to be standing up, so you're not going to glue it to that piece. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to open it up and place my glue. I'm using zip dry glue. And then I kind of want my design to go at an angle just like how it's showing on the bottom piece. You kind of want them to match. Okay. So then it sits like that. And then you're going to add your element, which I cut the Happy Birthday from Too Cute by Jessica and you can find her stuff at toocutebyjessica.com she just kinda does some titles and some little accessory sets you know a lot of the scalps with the circle and then with the designs that's where I got my remember my shamrock, shamrock card I made this one right here these are from her website so this is a card that I made that was on my blog and on my Facebook page. So, okay, back to what we're doing. Okay, so then I'm going to place this up because I wanted to put it on my car base. And now that's going to hold the top piece up. So I just put it on some foam squares, and then my other piece is just going to go in the middle. It's just going to be a really simple card. Nothing too extravagant, at least not yet. So I'm going to open it up, make sure I kind of get it in the center. So there is my finished circle easel card. It's actually much easier than I thought it would be. Now if you wanted, you could just leave this base. You don't, don't have to make it bigger. And then just cut the pieces that stick over the edge. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and have a great day.